Hey, this is Jeffrey Salix, Phone Geek. Today we're going to talk about the uh, Windows Phone 7. I just got the Windows Phone 7. I'm testing it out here. And there's an update to 7.5, which is a new operating system for the Windows Phone. And I've got, I'm running 7 right now, 7.0. So uh, in order to the update, you have to hook it to your computer. But you got to download the software, the Zoom software. So go to Google, type in Z-U-N-E space software. I Googled that and it popped up here, the first link. You click on the download the Zoom software, comes to the site, and click on download now, and it will download the software, which I already did. Once you download it, I'm going to go ahead and install it. So I'm starting the installation here. I double clicked on the installation, so now I'm going to hit accept. And I'm going to change where it's going to save it. Uh, and then it says uh, send info about setup to help improve experience. So I'm gonna uncheck that. I'm gonna hit install. So now it's installing the Zoom software onto my desktop here. So I'm gonna be able to plug in my new phone and do the update. I got the uh, LG. Let's see. While that's installing, I'll tell you which one I got. I've got the LG C900. Supposed to be a good phone. It's got 16 gig of uh, storage built in. So we're running Windows Phone 7. It's from AT&T Wireless. And so far, it's got a slide-out keyboard. Works really good so far. It's very fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and gonna update my phone here. I'm gonna walk you through how to update your Windows Phone. I'm still new to the Windows Phone, so this is my first video with the Windows Phone, and I've had this phone for two days and we're about to do the update right here alright so it says installation complete gonna hit launch alright starting play I'm gonna go to my settings here real quick that looks good just checking to make sure that all these places that everything's going to the right spot I'm creating a podcast spot for software here because I have everything onto a different hard drive. I got my operating system on a solid state. Um, but anyways, all right, so that's all good. I'm gonna hit next. Uh, associate the types. All right, that's good. Hit next. Uh, asking if Zoom can access my software, I'm saying no. Tell Zoom three artists you like, you'll have easy access to smart DJ mixes based on the... Alright, so I'm going to type in a couple of my artists that I like. So you can do a POD. And, uh... Thousand for Crutch. We're going to hit Done, so I added three of those. Alright. So I guess this is the new Zoom software, and they've changed it a little bit here with the scrolling. Uh, let's see, we're going to go ahead and plug in my phone here. It just plugs in through that micro USB cable. Now uh, you may have got one, always you got to purchase one. So I'm plugging that into my phone and into the USB port on my computer. <coughs> As you see, it, uh, it's going to pop up as new software. You need Zoom software on your PC to get updates for your new Windows phone, so I'm going to hit Get Software. And it's going to have us download something else here. And it looks like they're going to be sending me a code to verify that it's me. So i got to go into my email here. Alright, so uh, you didn't have to go to that last step after you punched in that code. You could just close out of there and then you can come back to your Zoom software here. So now it says steps might include configuring Zoom software, choosing a friendly name for your phone, updating your phone with the latest features. So I'm going to hit next. 
Okay, it says uh, personalize your phone, be creative, pick any name you want. So I'm going to call it uh, Joe Del DJ. And I'm going to hit next. And it's checking for updates. And there should be an update because it pops up on my phone saying that there's an update for my phone. And here we go. It'll take anywhere from 30 minutes to several hours depending on the number of updates. Alright, so I'm going to hit update now. It's on step 2 of 9, downloading updates. Step 5 of 9, 6, restarting your phone. Seems to be pretty fast. Don't use or disconnect your phone until the update is complete. Alright, my phone is rebooting. It says LG on it now, so it's booting back up. And it's still booting up, and we are on step 6 of 9, so we're getting there. We're upgrading the Windows Phone 7 to Windows Phone 7.5. Alright, here we go. Found it, 7 of 9, installing updates. Make sure you don't unplug your phone at this time from your computer, from the USB. That'd be very bad. It'd corrupt your phone, corrupt the phone, and you won't be able to get anything off your phone. And you could possibly break the phone and never be able to use it again. So make sure you don't lose power, and you have a good connection, and then you don't touch the computer or the, uh, well, the cable going from the computer to the phone until this is complete and don't try to move the phone or the computer while doing this and you can't do this from a laptop also just be careful alright there's a prog uh, progress bar going across the screen on my phone which you guys can't see but it's about halfway across already it's a white bar going this scrolling across the screen from left to right uh, horizontally And we just wait until this is done installing the update. I'm going to pause the video because it might it's going to probably take a while to install the new software onto the phone. So I'll pause the video and I'll come back when it's done uh, once the next once this is complete this step of installing updates. All right, the phone is restarting again. It finished the installation of the new operating system. So now the phone's restarting, so now we're on step 8 of 9. So it's turning off the phone and turning it back on. So it's doing a restart. It says LG on the phone screen. So it's booting back up. It says AT&T World Phone. Windows Phone. And the blue balls are going across the screen. All right. And the phone booted back up. I'm not sure what else this needs to do because it did restart the phone, so now is the software going to have us do? Is it sitting here on my home screen on my phone, showing that it's charging the battery of my phone? And it saved everything that I had already on my phone, the customization of the tiles on my home screen and all my people are still saved checking for additional updates now all right now we're updates installed one step two of ten downloading updates an update is available. Updates can make your phone work better and add new features. They can make phone more secure too. To learn more and install these, connect your phone to your computer. That just pops up on my phone. Yet in the meantime, it's downloading it from my computer, letting me know there's another update. So there must be quite a few updates. I don't know why it doesn't. Installing update 7. Point oh, okay, so it's telling you what part it's doing. 
so it must have to install one at a time, but I don't know how many updates it's going to have to install overall. It doesn't say that. Like, it already did one, so like it says updates installed, it says one. But is it one of ten, one of twenty? I'm not sure. Microsoft, I think, should uh, add something to their software here so you know how long it's going to take you. Especially if you're trying to do this before you got to go to work or trying to go to bed. You start just to start updating, and then how do you know how long it's going to take you? It could take you an hour. Could take you four hours. I don't know. It could be five minutes. And it depends on the connection speed, I guess, is what it said, too. So, I guess I'll pause the video again until it starts going on, because this download looks like it might take a while. Well, here it goes now. The percentage is starting to jump up pretty quick. 20%, 25 It's going up by fives here pretty fast within a few seconds. Oh, as I dragged this video out too long, if I don't pause this video I'm going to pause it and I'll come back once it hits 100% alright we are here at 100 or 99% about to turn to 100% and then it should do the next one okay transferring and now preparing to install so now it's going to install it to the phone and this is going to probably take a while again so I'll go ahead and pause the video and come back once it's about 100%. Alright, it has hit 100% and now it's going to restart my phone. That was actually pretty fast, faster than I thought. Downloading the update took longer than doing install. Downloading the update took about 2 minutes. <coughs> and the installation took about 45 seconds. And now it's restarting the phone, so it's on step 6 of 10. Uh, this one was, took a little longer than the first update that we just did, but not much longer. That first one was, I don't know, about two minutes to do the whole thing, and now this one's taking a little bit longer. Uh, it says it's creating a backup now, so it's on step seven of ten. It's backing up everything from my phone to my computer here, which is not much on there. Like I said, I've only had this phone for two days, and the day I got it, I got it pretty late so I ended up just charging it and not doing anything with it to the following day. So there's really nothing on the phone so this is a perfect time to do the update because I would imagine if the phone had a lot of stuff on it or anyone to do the update it would take longer to obviously do the create the backup of the phone with all your stuff. But that's alright it'll be worth it once the new update is in everybody's talking that the update is really good Windows 7.5 is supposed to be pretty solid so uh, we'll find out once it completes uh, the updating here so I'm pretty much just showing you how to do the update on your phone to upgrade upgrade or update whichever way you want to call it of your Windows phone from 7 to 7.5 but as you can tell, it doesn't. It's not just one easy update. It looks like there's a few updates here. I'm not sure how many it's going to be. So far, we are on update number two, and it says it's installing version 7.0.7392.0. So it's not 7.5 yet. So we may be doing a couple more updates before we get to 7.5. But that's all right. Alright, so now it's installing the updates on the phone. Now that it did the backup. And there's no percentage, so I'm not sure how long this part's going to take. My phone just shows a picture of a Windows phone and then a wire plugged into a laptop. And then it shows an arrow pointing to the left, like pointing at the phone. And it's got a circle with a line through it in red showing do not unplug so we shall wait and watch this update oh here comes a progress bar just popped up at the top of the screen of the phone like I was telling you before that white bar that goes across it's loading across fairly slow so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again until it's just about across to the end and then I'll come back alright we are back at it's going to be restarting the phone now it just finished that update and now it's restarting the phone once again then we'll it should say that it's complete and then it'll let us know if there's another update to do just like it already showed and we will find out here shortly
All right, my phone says AT&T World. Now it says Windows Phone. So it is booting up. All right, it's booted up. It's on my home on the home screen here with all my tiles. Shows all my people and all the custom tiles that I put on the screen. That are not the defaults. I should figure out that it's plugged in and pop back up here in the program. And then it'll start the next update here. We'll see if this is the third and last update or if there will be another update here right after this one. In the future there probably will be updates. But maybe hopefully not right this second. Alright, checking for additional updates. Just checking now. Because it sees my phone. Let's see here. Try not to do anything else on the internet so we have the fastest speed as possible. I'm running on DSL so I don't have the fastest internet around. I think I'm pulling about 5... I think it's supposed to be like 6 megabytes a second. But it's up to 6 megabytes a second. So I think I'm only pulling off about 3 or 4. Alright, it says successful update. Your phone has been updated with the latest software. Click finish to continue. You can now disconnect your phone. So I'm going to hit finish. And there's my phone right there. Joe Dell DJ. Do more Windows Live. Sync complete. Free space is remaining. I uh, synced at 8.05, which is the time right now. Perfect. You see there's free space. And that's my picture of my phone. And we are good to go. All right. So that's how you update your phone with the Zoom software, which you have to do. You can't just update it from the phone. And uh, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and thumbs up on the video. All right, have a great day.